hoodlums. Ah. Hello, you must be- Shattered, yes. Now, before we go any further, and certainly before I escort you to the Guildmaster, tell me, when is it ever appropriate to answer yes to a question of age on an official document? Uh, well, well, that was- Well, we could have put, I don't know. Maybe you'd like that better. What I'd like is for a proper answer. Fortunately for you lot, it isn't ultimately up to me. Honestly, mister, I wouldn't have put that on there if we had an actual answer for you. See, the, the thing is, Avis has some amnesia. I think because she fell a long way and might have hit her head. She can't remember how old she is and we, uh, we figured it'd be best not to leave it blank. We filled everything else out as best as we could. Hmm, amnesia, you say? Well, you were right about that. Leaving a vil blank is usually grounds of rejection. However, if appearances have any indication, it seems Miss Avis is not too young to qualify at the very least. Very well. Come with me, please. How did he know that was ours? Well, uh, probably because of Dell. Yeah, not many people are dumb or desperate enough to team up with Gengars. Now then, respect is of the utmost importance when in the presence of our guildmaster. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Whatever. Good. Guildmaster, it's Chatot. I'm coming in. Guildmaster, today's evaluation team has arrived. And a bit early, I might add. Welcome, friends. Yes, welcome. My name is Wiggly Tuff. How nice of you to come so early. We can get down to business almost right away. But we have a small problem with your application. I wanted to ask you about it. See? You forgot to fill in your team name. You can't be properly registered without a team name, you know? Oh, yeah, um, about that. I hadn't actually thought of what we should be called, and we didn't know whether we'd pick something that someone else was already using. I thought we could figure it out while we were here so we wouldn't risk getting rejected for picking someone else's team name. Oh, is that all? Well, that's perfectly fine. It's good that you had the foresight to think that far ahead. See, Chatot, I told you they would have a good reason. Yes, well... On to business. You guys have some time before your exam. You'll be going into a mystery dungeon, so we'd like you to be well prepared. We wouldn't want our friendly friends to fail, after all. You may get the supplies for your trek in Treasure Town. We expect you back in a timely manner. Now show! Out with you, out with you! The Guildmaster has lots of business to attend to, so shoo! Del, could I have a moment? Wait, wait! Please listen! Wait, look! I need to talk to you! Just look at- Look! Hey! Don't- You better make it quick. About your missing friends. I need you to understand. The decision to call off the search is out of my hands. My guild operates under the guidelines that the Happy Federation puts forth. We have to take the orders that come from them to stay operational. All that said, I wanted to- Personally apologize to you for not being able to find those two before all this. I've done everything I could, and I just... I feel completely terrible about how it all ended up. Sorry, and feeling bad doesn't find them, does it? You could have appealed the order, asked for an extension, told the Fed you uncovered new clues. But no, you'd rather give up, else we wouldn't be discussing it now. You know... When I got over my own pride to ask you for help, I trusted you to see it through to the end. Like you said, remember? Yes, I remember. But the decisions that Happy decides on are final. And unless I can prove what I claim to have, like for instance, clues, there's nothing I can do. Happy doesn't take words without evidence. Those Pokemon disappeared without a trace. We had nothing to go on. Right from the start, anything else we managed to find was vague, at best. It didn't go anywhere. I gave it my best shot, you know? I did, truly. 
There simply wasn't enough to go on, and definitely not in the amount of time I had. Maybe if I had more time, I SHUT could- UP! It's excuse after excuse with you! If time was really such a problem, you could work independently! Screw happy! Carve your own path! Break the rules! Have a spine! Don't you get it?! Ugh, forget it! I don't need you or your stupid gill. I'll do it myself. Do what, exactly? Find them. Not that it's any of your business. But... but you can't! If the Federation finds out, you'll lose your exploration license, and your teammates will as well. Look, you might be just fine passing off their fates to some corporation, but I ain't. They deserve to be brought back, alive or not. I ain't gonna abandon them. Not her. I'm not gonna be worthless like you. There you are. Where were you? Got caught up in traffic. Ah. We were just deciding which kind of bag to get. You didn't miss much. I like this one, but Rodney thinks we might need a bigger one. I don't know. What do you think? You're asking me. Eh, this one will probably work fine. Oh! Don't touch the merchandise! Nobody will buy a bag touched by a ghost! That was uncalled for- SCOUNDREL! Del! L look uh, we'll take the bag. We'll buy it. As you should! These items don't pay for themselves, you know! Uh, yeah. We know. Sorry. Um, how much for it? 800 poke! Uh, oh, alright. Here. Um, thank you. And let him keep it from being a bigot. It, uh, was a bit more than I was planning to spend on a bag, but I guess it's alright. I just hope I still have enough for other supplies. Don't worry about it. We'll be needing some berries and elixirs and stuff like that. I can help you with that right here. Pay no attention to my brother. He doesn't recognize that money is money, no matter who it comes from. Anyway, you said you needed dungeon supplies, yes? I probably have everything you could possibly want right over here. Would you like to see? That'd be helpful, yeah. Wonderful. Come, come then. Tell Kekleon what you need, yes? What kind of berries were you looking for? Um, I was thinking we'd need some Oren Pecha and maybe a Rossberry. Max Elixirs too, if you have it. Whatever we can get for 600 Polka Dollars. My, you seem to be going on quite the trip if you need so much. What's the occasion? We are registering as an exploration team. Really? Well, you've picked the right place to do it. Wigglytuff's guild is famous, you know. Yeah, yeah, who cares? Good luck to you three. Hopefully the mystery dungeon you get isn't too much for you to handle. I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. Thanks for your help. What's a mystery dungeon? Huh? What do you mean? Well, well I, I don't know. I heard Wigglytuff say something about it. Then that guy too, but I, I guess I just don't get it. Oh, I see. Well, basically, um... Well, they're weird places for sure. Usually they're in caves or they form out of chasms that appear with earthquakes. Uh... They say that it's different every time you go into one, like the layout changes, and there really aren't any landmarks that you can rely on for navigation, because they might not even be there when you come back. And if you get KO'd inside one, you'll wake up back where you started. Nobody figured out how they work. Hence, mystery. I still understand nothing. Well, it's better to experience anyway, I think. Anyway, we're pretty much done here, so we should head back to the guild. Now then, as you should all now be aware, your exam will take place within a mystery dungeon. Your mission will be to locate and recover the perfect apple from the treasure chest at its lowest point. You may not eat the apple. I will be tagging along behind you so that you may be observed and graded according to how you handle yourselves. You may not ask me for help or advice on what to do after we embark. If any of you faints, it would be counted as an automatic failure, and you will be extracted from the dungeon immediately. So, look out for each other. In the event that you get separated from each other, you will be expected to find each other before you exit the dungeon. As this is meant to be a team effort, failure to do so will result in the failure of your exam. Any questions? No? Very well. Guildmaster, please address the team. Uh... 
I think these ones are perfectly capable, Chatot. Let's, uh, skip the address for today. Very well. Then, uh, you lot should make your way to the mystifying forest and wait for me at the entrance. The location should be marked on your map. Off you go now. I shall be along shortly. Friggin' finally. Come on, let's get out of this dump. <laughs> hey! Guildmaster, you seem distressed. Are you quite all right? Yep, peachy fine. Don't mind me. I am amazing. Never better. <laughs> Are you sure? Yep. I've just got some things to think about. Important things. I see. Well. Say, Chatot? Where do we keep all of our closed case files again? I have something I need to look into. Hey guys, it's been a while, hasn't it? And in all honesty, this video should have been out more than a week ago, but long story short, due to a mishap of lines, the video ended up taking a lot more time than it honestly should have. So, I really couldn't keep my promise about uploading the video once we hit 75 likes on a previous stub. So, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, I wish I could keep you guys better updated, but I just don't, because I don't have the time. Anyway guys, um, remember that contest I said I was going to be doing for 2,000 subscribers? Well, now we're doing it. The next video is going to be having a lot more information about it, but in a nutshell, basically it's going to be a fan art contest, and there's going to be prizes and stuff, you know, so go ahead and stay tuned for that. Anyway, if you like the dub, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, all that special stuff, and if you want to see more dubs, Go ahead and check out the homepage and find a playlist called Where Are You Sheeps to hear my voice in other people's dubs. And honestly, you should go ahead and check them out. Check them out now because I think I did some pretty good voice work in those videos. You should go ahead and check them out. And, you know, tell me how I did. Mm. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys. Peace!